off. Uh, <clears throat> give everybody a few more minutes to get logged on here. Um, and uh, really excited to talk about how we can help you guys explode and expand your career within real estate. <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and kick this bad boy into high gear. First, I have to ask before diving into massive lead generation, um, you know, what were the pros for joining the real estate industry? Do you have a burning reason why? You know, I'm interested to really discover why do you do what you do? You know, uh, I, I'd love for you to type in the chat box in the lower left-hand corner. You know, what's your big reason why? What propels you to get up every morning and, and, and to take action? Uh, for me, it's freedom. You know, for the most of us, it's flexible schedule, kids, family, freedom, or being able to do what we want to do when we want to do it with whom we want to do it with, right? Also, um, controlling our own destiny, being accountable, self-sufficient, or giving back through servicing others. We all love networking with friends, family, and the community. You know, maybe we just wanted to join an easy business to supplement our income with extra cash. So we, so you went and obtained your real estate license. The list goes on. With that said, I will say I personally didn't fully understand in most situations all of the challenges that I'd face and wasn't fully prepared to commit to a high level to achieve true success in this industry. You know, example, uh, you know, marketing costs, self-education needed outside of just obtaining the real estate license, dealing with the stress that comes along with managing multiple personalities in the sales pro uh, process from under contract to close. You know, we all, we all had a tough buyer or seller that left us kind of scratching our head um, before. And, and you know what I'm talking about, you know, lack of technology. Budgeting, the shocking uh, percent of money needed to reinvest back into the business. I will say, the only pillar that's going to keep your busy healthy and predictable is an endless amount of buyer and seller leads. I'm inquiring, how many leads did you generate today? How many leads did you generate last month? How many leads did you generate this year? I would love to hear how you guys are managing those leads and which IDX or CRM system. As a professional, agents that are managing their leads on a notebook or Excel spreadsheet are a dying breed. In 2016, with millions of uh, real estate leads being generated online and off, you must have a long-term database management game plan in this new world of technology. Do you currently have a lead management strategy? If not, I strongly suggest forming one quick. Simply, here's a snapshot revealing a chart showing internet leads generated. Over 40 million internet leads generated in 2014. That trend is going to continue to skyrocket. It's amazing. Technology and the information age is here. However, you can see that the homes closed are steady year over year. The high-tech platforms allow savvy expert agents to start incubating leads and managing them respectfully uh, with targeted follow-ups, creating long-term relationships months, if not years in advance, before the active real estate sales cycle even begins. This is a new powerful edge the top agents are experiencing today. Are you capturing your fair share of leads out of the 40 million? I really hope so. If not, we can show you how to manage thousands of nurture leads at a time. Yes, we can show you how to manage thousands of nurture leads at a time. This one benefit alone will help you run a predictable, scalable practice. It can take years, if not decades, for others to master the art and science of a predictable conversion. If generating tons of leads every month, Yes, you need a proper lead management backend dashboard or you're leaving thousands of dollars sitting on the table. If you don't have an incubation pool, you're probably taking care of leftover prospects that other agents don't want to work with and you didn't even know it. How stress-free would it be if you prepared your plate before any other agent? Yes, you got to pick and choose who you wanted to work with. Your pipeline was consistently full, fat, and happy. 
It's exciting the day you realize that you have the power to walk away from business. Because the suspect is not a good fit for you. It feels a whole heck of a lot better than begging for business, let me tell you. Honestly, I hope you're incubating, cultivating, and building lifelong uh, friendships now in some type of database. If done correctly, proper big database management will be yielding more homes closed more frequently month after month, year after year without fail, and it's powerful. You know, it, 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 it's outstanding to know when, where, and how you'll secure your next deal. Yes, it builds confidence. No more feverishly chewing on your fingernails late at night when the bills are becoming due, feeling frustrated with your back against the wall. I know exactly how that feels. I felt like a loser many nights until I cracked the code. This will help you also step off of that transaction treadmill which is living deal to deal, lead to lead, you know, scared to death about where to find your next lead uh, month to month. The transaction treadmill leaves you in this rat race chasing buyers and sellers that you may or may not uh, even want to work with. Bluntly, it all starts with the mindset and attracting ideal clients that only want to work with you and you only want to work with them. By creating funnels, specific filters, categories within the buying and selling stages. It gives future clarity when labeling and monitoring nurtures through that hot watch um, uh, stage. Attacking your pipeline by being able to tag and label prospects with classifications of ABC is an example of the powerful database management principles that you should be practicing today. This gives you insight into who and when to spend time with, with clients, suspects, or prospects. There's a major difference on how you should allocate your time within your sales funnel. Just imagine if you had access to being able to track buyer behaviors, seller behaviors online. What if you know how many homes they were looking at? Which homes? Which price ranges? If they was favoriting properties? If they were printed flyers? If they're emailing homes to uh, friends or family? If they're doing loan calculations online, when's the last time they logged into the website? Reverse look up all their social accounts and public information or filling out even home evaluation um, forms and so on. This information positions you light years ahead of your competition while allowing you to have optimized conversations with people that are serious about moving through your sales funnel and are starting that process multiple months, even years in advance. And you're able to fully align with their goals, their motivations, what they're looking to accomplish. And it's, it, it, it's truly a game changer. If you could store all your notes and knew exactly um, you know, when to touch them, when to talk to them, except instead of this randomness that goes on now in our industry, how powerful could that be? How optimized? How much, how, how much impactful would your conversations be? It's a game changer. This will eliminate the real estate roller coaster. We've all been on the cycle before the highs and the lows of our income. We, you know, we sell a bunch of real estate, make a bunch of money, life is good, and then bam, 45, 60 days later, we're dead broke. Just looking for anybody with a pulse to sell him or her a home. It's sad. We've all been there. You know what I'm talking about. The great news is we have solved the equation, and if you hang around long enough, we'll show you the activities and the behaviors that you can master so you never, ever hit rock bottom again. Guarantee. The choice is yours. <clears throat> now, anyone, now, if anyone is currently in a slump, and I hope there isn't, but if so, there's nothing more disheartening than witnessing someone's business take a dip. With that said, it's common in the real estate industry, and it's common in most 1099 sales jobs as a whole. Now, my perception for recovery is be, being able to take a hard look back. What was you previously doing and what activities and behaviors had you selling X amount of homes and earning X amount of dollars by serving X amount of people? Tracking is a must. You need to understand your numbers to be able to discover these patterns. Also, take a hard look at becoming more personable. There's so much marketing noise out there. Really connect personally by digging deep into their goals. What they're really looking to accomplish. 
It's not about you or your company. It's okay to come from a place of empathy. You know, we get we get paid to really solve pain points or enhance pleasure points, and being able to empathize and align is a powerful technique. Most important, you must never forget your mission. You understand we can get bogged down with a bunch of busy work in this industry. However, busy does not equal productive income producing activities that nets profits. Our industry mission is to sell homes by servicing other people, period. That's what pays the bills. That's what keeps food on the table. So let's not lose sight of that. Keep your priorities straight with your time blocking for better energy management. You have to protect your time like your life depends on it. If you don't respect your time, who will? Create a schedule and plan and work your plan and really stick with it. Run your day. Don't let your day run you. Regardless, you know, friends, family, social events um, will try to derail your focus and commitments. It's easy to cave in. Wake up with a burning purpose. Don't fall into the trap of telling yourself, I'll sleep in today. I'll take today off. I can make it up later. No, understand all true six-figure professionals have to work on days that they don't feel like it. Are you a professional action taker? Or are you really okay with the results you're currently obtaining? Only you can answer that. All you need to do to really explode is prioritize your actions while getting back to the basics and maybe not chase shiny balls or look for a quicker, easier way. I hate to tell you there's no easy button in this industry. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. It's as simple as mastering the art and science of the basics of hard work, dedication, doing the right things in the right order, focusing on dollar-producing activities. So I keep bringing up dollar-producing activities. What are your dollar-producing activities? What really makes you money? Growth comes from a consistent, turnkey, relevant legion uh, with great conversion. You can generate all the leads in the world from uh, direct mail, internet, sign writer, sign calls, networking. However, if you're not converting at a high level, you're probably losing money hand over fist. On the other hand, if you can convert leads but don't have any marketing pillars set up, that's an even bigger problem. Both must be in sync for true magic to occur with massive profits. How many income lead sources do you have right now? How many? I'm showing you 10 right now that we have mastered. We incorporate all sources for our agents to make sure we're generating a massive amount of leads day in and day out, week in and week out, and allow us to create and build a sustainable winning culture. We hear a lot about culture. What does culture really mean to you? Culture to me is the way that we think, act, and interact as a unit and as a team and as a family. That of what you think is what you create. The same vibrations that you give out into this world are usually the same vibrations that you'll receive back, whether it's your home life, professional life, or just in general. Let that sink in. Things aren't happening to us like most believe. They're happening because of us. And for things to change, we must change. And once I came to grips with this, it changed my life, my relationships, and it also changed my bank account. Anyways, let me take a few minutes here to articulate our mission, our vision, and our values here at Select Homes. This is very important to our collaborative, coactive culture. Uh, Select Homes' mission is simply to change lives by changing the real estate industry through teamwork, innovation, and experience. Now, I want to touch on some of our core values here at Select Homes. The first one is honesty. We do the right thing even when no one is looking. Personal growth, we are committed to a culture of continuous improvement. We put people first, live by the platinum rule, treat others the way that they would want to be treated. Innovation, we are passionately curious. Accountability, accountability is love. Everyone thinks like an owner. Accountability may be used as a bad word, but accountability is love, especially since you're the CEO of your business, right? Teamwork. Really learn together, think together, and create together without a doubt. Simp you know, simply a combination of these things lead us to experiencing expansion growth mindset. 
Uh, a great example here is the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. Growth mindset agents continue to stretch ourselves outside of our comfort zone. We put a lot of effort into learning, continuous improvement, failing forward, and clamorizing for feedback from our clients, agents, and the organization. We're more than just a group of people working together. We're an actual team that really cares about one another and their families. We're not fixed upon individual goals or self. Uh, you know, for an example, a fixed mindset will not allow um, one to become vulnerable with the group. You're not wanting to take on new challenges. You know, you, you know, fix my set. I'm just going to stick with what I know. I'm willing to unlearn to relearn something else. Guarded. Me, myself, and I, me, myself, and I approach and such. I will say practicing a growth mindset has earned us a spot on the Inc. 5000, America's fastest growing private company. Um, also, uh, you know, here's the partners that select homes from uh, right to left. Start with Mike Gerbic, myself, Brian Brundage, and Grant Farha. We were nominated the best place to work, which was you know, very exciting and definitely an honor to earn this award. According to the Wall Street Journal, we was ninth in the nation last year. Now that's helping a whole lot of families. Um, you know, please understand, we're not bragging. We just wanted to share some of our most recent awards with you for social proof and thank our clients and thank our agents for their commitment to excellence and excellent service. People ask, what are you guys doing that's so special? Now I say we're not really doing anything special. However, there are seven key elements to success. First element is marketing. We look at ourselves as professional trusted uh, marketing advisors. You know, lead generation, lead generators for our agents, and um, it's being able to you know create leads. That's like a steady flow of, of of a water. You can you know turn it on or off like a spigot on your demand. You're in total control. Leads just keep on flowing for our agents if they wish. You know, social proof, targeted prospecting. We have a winning, sustainable prospecting culture. It's very targeted and optimized to what the suspects or prospects are looking to achieve. Outstanding culture, follow-up systems, technology tools, you know, leadership, coaching, and mentorship. That's available on hand. The agents that are mastering these seven key elements are in the top 9% of expert advisors. The rest are unfortunately frustrated agents. And, you know, we all know an agent or two that's frustrated and looking for that magic pill or that silver bullet. Real success is a combination of those seven elements mastered, repeated, and shared daily. The current system needs improvement. And the reasons are shocking. 55% of real estate agents would consider moving to a new office. That's huge. Nine out of 10 have switched companies at least once in their career. You know, five out of 10 agents have switched companies more than three times. Wow. 51% of brokers say they're having trouble attracting young generation of agents. 44% of brokers say they don't have enough time to mentor. It's tough. 36% of brokers say they have trouble getting the agents to apply. That is what you think is what you create, right? It's what you're attracting. 27% of brokers say they're having trouble finding agents that fit their culture. Something has to change. <clears throat> Improvement is clearly needed as the general pub public views us as average, just above a used car salesman. We have to face it. You know, we can call ourselves consultants or coin nice fancy titles for ourselves, but the cold hard reality is that we're just average agents and we're just average, working part time. We can't be trusted. We have commission breath, not knowledgeable, and we're not positioned as an expert advisor. And that's coming from the community. It's all about perception, right? If we're going to explode and expand your business by serving others and build a respectable career, you know, we have to be able to differentiate ourselves. And if we don't differentiate ourselves from the average agent that's giving you a bad name or us a bad name, we run the risk of, you know, becoming extinct. You really have to articulate your unique selling proposition and be able to deliver that uh, and be able to deliver on your promise. It's, it has to start today, and it has to be a customer-centric uh, conversation. 
that's built around uh, your suspects, prospects, clients, and past clients. And if we don't differentiate, we seriously run the risk of dying. What business model are you following to create your breakthrough within your career? Seriously, have you really ever thought about the model in depth that you're currently operating in? Or does it just come down to commission splits only and that's it? You know, what, what is it for you? What model are you in? Are you in it just because it's really going to make you thrive and grow and earn money? Or is it just because of the splits? 100% of nothing is still 100% of nothing. What's your strategy within that model? These are very important questions. There are many different models out there to pick from and choose from, all the way from the old way of doing business with the Flintstones in the 2006 era with the Jetsons. The real estate industry has been evolving for more than four decades, seeking to find a better way, but the past few years, um, it, it's really accelerated the pace significantly as challenges are presented. It's really exposing our shortcomings of the existing different models. The time has come to shift business and move into the industry or move our industry into the next age operationally, structurally, and professionally. Most industry leaders absolutely agree that our current model is broken. It, it no longer really works for brokers or agents. So what's the downside to the traditional model? No consistency for the client, no clear, unique selling propositions, no marketing message with a collective pool of marketing dollars and resourceful resources that are impactful. Fact is, traditional brokerages are more into the office leasing business. Every single agent is looking uh, out only for himself or herself. Yes, politics, gossiping, and stabbing coworkers in the back over leads and knowledge is normally lingering in that type of environment. No structure. It's like the wild, wild west. No staff support. No pre-approved leads provided to the agents, etc. So you're probably asking, what's the benefits of a true team model? You know, we don't compete. We want to help one another. Agents benefit from the true, true team model. Simply, everybody does much more business. I think last year, you know, our average agents, you know, closed, um, you know, 34 homes uh, each. Yes, we have some agents doing 100 to 90 homes every single year, and some agents that's closing 25 homes a year. It comes down to lifestyle and how you want to practice and how hard you want to work. But there's greater efficiencies, greater purchasing power because of the collective marketing dollars, and legendary service for our clients and for our agents for basically the same cost. Clients work with a more experienced agent versus the tradi traditional agent that's closing, you know, what, 7 to 14 homes per year. Everything in real estate is situational. You don't know what you need to know until it's too late. And normally it comes at a cost to the client versus if you're a trusted advisor and was looking after your client's affairs. And here's some of the benefits of being positioned as an expert advisor with us. You know, it's no secret, expert advisors in these situations net more commission. You'll be able to build a quality, you know, client base with less stress and lower cost to acquire a client and really add value and focus on what's important to you. You know, and it really enables you to focus at what you'll focus on what you're great at. And that's taking care of and working with your clients. Yes, our culture is, you know, what we're seriously focused on with measuring feedback from our client, focused on how we can improve and map out a life cycle journey, retaining clients for life, not just a transaction, but starting an indefinite friendship, relationship. Our business model is a client-focused business model. We engage the client and the uh, um, leaders to ensure everything is built around the customer. Here at Select Homes, we built resource uh, departments around the client to make sure nothing slips through the cracks. Every single department loves, hugs, and, and, and delivers to the client. This allows them to focus on what they're great at, from the contracts department to the listing specialist to our client care managers to the resource center, buyer and listing agents, and the marketing team. We've really put the client in the middle, as you can see, and it's not about the agent, and it's not about the brokerage. Right here's how a traditional agent works. They're wearing all the hats. They're doing all the duties. The number one complaint in real estate is communication. 
With that said, I believe it's not it's not the agent's fault. They're just burning the candle from both ends, overworked, and doing too many convoluted activities. One of my favorite quotes is, all things will be produced in superior quantity quality and with greater ease when each man or woman works at a single occupation in accordance with his natural gifts. And at that very moment, without meddling in anything else, true teamwork occurs. <clears throat> true specialists earn way more money. And, and I don't care if you're a foot specialist, heart uh, specialist, uh, you, you're a specialized lawyer. The same is true on our team. Every role on our team requires a unique personality and trait, different experiences, training, and skill set. From the transactions department to the listings department, receptionists, admin staff, buyers and seller agents, etc. Working as a specialist allows you to focus on the person and the whole team is able to build loyalty and trust around that client. We specialize in each process along the way and it's all about building trust. Trust is harder to get than ever before and we're really seeking to have an honest relationship, be truthfulness and be competent and true and open with them about the whole uh, uh, buying uh, or selling process. You can't buy trust. It can only be earned, and our team does that each and every day with our clients. Remember, we're looking, you know, remember, we're looked at as average agents just above used car salesmen with commission breath and all these other negative perceived thoughts. The good news is we can overcome all of that when nurturing, loving on a prospect. If you have a client care department behind you doing research and yes, they're licensed, and they're helping develop this buyer or the seller position their family and grow them into a space to be able to potentially, you know, turn into a lead and purchase that, you know, and they're going to end up purchasing within 30, 45 days. This process could take six, seven, eight, nine months, or even years. So professional nurturing is the key and it'll help you execute at a high level and build trust, not just within a month or two, but we're talking about for the duration of a life cycle. How are you handling those long-term leads that are one to three years out? I can promise you we have a full system with a proven follow-up plan to be able to do that. And we understand that nurturing leads have a 23% shorter uh, sell cycle. You know, through tracking and measuring, we're able to identify these serious buyers or sellers. We're able to improve lead quality with tracking and measuring. It's the single most important part of running a predictable business. And when I talk about the activities or behaviors on how to you know, sell five to seven homes a month, it's all about focusing on the dollar producing activities, which are to prospect, sell, and negotiate. Prospect, sell, and negotiate. And if you're tracking every single activity and every behavior in your business, you'll be able to understand exactly what it took to be able to do that each month. It becomes easy to duplicate those behaviors over and over again to run that predictable business to earn X amount of money and never experience that roller, uh, roller coaster dip as bad as before. Have you ever heard about the concept time, value, and money? Maybe you have. If so, do you know what your time is really worth? Is it worth 200 bucks an hour, 50 bucks an hour, or $10 an hour? When that, what, what, what would happen if you had a transaction coordinator, a call center, or somebody, a full support team behind you? What, you know, how much more efficient would that would make you? You know, this allows our agents to focus on those dollar producing activities. We remove the $15, $20 an hour work off their plate so they can really focus on that $200 an hour work. And it all starts with our resource center, listings department, IT, marketing, transactions department, and the coaching group with all of these tools and resources that um, you have at your disposal. Select Homes Coaching also coaches national teams to help them explode and expand their business as well. We give them tools, technologies, platforms, and uh, you know, allows them to generate hundreds of leads every single month. We are coaching agents on you know, how to manage these bad databases with thousands of active leads and how to convert them as well. Um, I will say a secret weapon um, that I suggest that you implement into your business today is an auto dialer that allows you to have laser targeted conversations. And the more conversations you can have, the more appointments you're going to generate, which in turn equals expedited buyer and listing agreements, which nets more closings each and every month for you. And we all know that leads to more money. And it's a fun, co-active, collaborating, sharing culture when you can really speed that process up 
and, and, and you're servicing clients and you're taking care of people, and in turn, you're being rewarded for that. What type of crappy stuff do you need to stop doing to focus on being able to earn what you really desire in life? I don't know. Whether you want to make 50000 or 100000 you know what you need to focus on. And it's not about adding more stuff to your plate. It's about, you know, stop doing some of the things that you're doing. Successful people have a radical focus not to do more, but saying no to the non-income producing crappy stuff. Okay? This will put you on the path to really master the art and science of doing the right things in the right order to at least make $50 an hour. You're worth that. And we can easily show you that within, have you on that path within 60 days. If you want to make 100K or even 50K, we can show you exactly what needs to happen and what you need to do in the right order to do that. You know, most of our uh, agents that come on hitting it uh, full time and are coachable are making 80 to 100,000. So if you're ambitious and you want to make 100K to even a million dollars a year, you have to protect every single minute of your day. You have to ask yourself, is the paperwork that I'm processing now worth my time? Is the meeting I'm setting in worth my time? Are the flyers I'm running out to the yard, taking the pictures, working with this unpre-approved buyer, searching on MLS, having water cooler talk, you know, with, with, with co-workers that aren't as ambitious, is this worth your time? Is it worth, you know, 500 bucks an hour if you want to make that million dollars? For me, that's the measurement I personally use, $500 an hour. I want to run my day like I already earned a million dollars. It will never happen unless I start acting like it today. So I challenge you to do the same exact thing. And we can show you how to delegate, delegate all this internally at no cost with select homes to be well on your way to hitting on all cylinders. But first, would you like to know a dirty little secret? Here it is. Here's the dirty little secret in our industry. 80% of the agents earn less than $10,000. 18% earn less than $10,000 or $50,000. <clears> Fifty four percent of the agents earn less than forty nine thousand dollars. So that means half of the people on this call right now are not even earning. Fifty thousand dollars a year, one percent of the agents in the country only make a million dollars. Here's a couple free tips Four ways to increase your income frequency, greater volume numbers and impact your uh, a brand percent efficiency close additional transactions or a greater volume of that percent unit fees value unarticulated is value unappreciated but I promise you costs will never ever be an issue in the presence of value so start building out value and charging more and manage your profitability with accountability cost tracking training teaching networking systems you start with these four you're really going to see your uh, income uh, shoot up. <clears throat> so here is a, a disc behavior uh, a chart. Um, when we always hear matching and mirroring with cells and uh, all this stuff. But these are the four behavior traits that all of us are made up uh, with. And, um, you know, there's different behavior traits for listing agents, buyer agents, or different people within our staff. You want to get the right people sitting on the right seat on the bus. Um, and um, this this test is usually a, a couple hundred dollars um, and um, it you know for being on this call today I want to offer you this for free you know call our office and ask for the full test it'll give you a whole you know 50 some page report on your DNA of you know exactly who you are and how these four behaviors make make uh, you know, make up your habits and uh, your emotions and basically, you know, what you enjoy doing. And so, I, you know, we'll give you this test for free just for being on here. Uh, it's my way of saying thank you for spending a little bit of time uh, um, uh, with me today. I really want to wrap this up <clears throat> um, with, uh, you know, what type of business are we in? Obviously, we're in real estate, but we're really in the American dream business, helping people achieve their dreams of home ownership. You know, we're in the marketing business, whether we like it or not. We have to be professional marketers. You know, we're in the business of changing lives. That's powerful. How many lives have you changed this year? 
Yes, I have people asking me all the time, why doesn't everybody run a team model um, just like you guys? And that's a great question. You know, I will say it's high risk. You're investing in agents, weekly coaching for agents. You're investing in real estate, uh, real estate uh, space, leads, uh, platforms. You know, there's no cost within our team if you're hitting on all your goals. That's right. You have no cost, you know, besides paying your MLS dues, gas in your car, and your cell phone bill. You know, I touched on a couple pillars and here's the other um, uh, couple pillars and the five pillars of the team model. You know, we're a client-centric business, specialization of work, principle of time, value, and money, the combination of marketing efforts to be able to share resources and agents uh, cooperatively, cooperatively working together and for each other and their families and, and instead of against one another. Okay. <clears throat> Our value to our team members is we provide a positive, true team culture. You really have um, the ability to advance and, and grow within our company. You know, just look at me. Um, and if you'd like to know more about my story, uh, reach out to me. And I feel uh, blessed to be able to go to lunch and allow you to um, pick my brain or ask me as many questions as you possibly can. Uh, I'm living proof of that. Professional su support staff to assist agents, legendary you can't beat this service that we offer. World-class training and coaching is second to none. A marketing budget and marketing teams that supplies a steady lead flow of predictable business and opportunities for our agents. You're not going to find that anywhere in town that does it at the level that we do it, guys. Our agents will be the most productive agents with the highest net income of any company, and that's what we're striving to do. And you don't saw the uh, other slide where we just you know le left everybody in the dust um, with um, the average homes per agent that we sell here. Um, we really look at it. We, we've built this on servant leadership with great culture, strategy. You know, putting people first, having skilled communicators. You know, system thinkers. Yeah, you know, we really lead with a moral uh, uh, authority within our team. Excuse me. Um, fantastic employees, our customers. Um, we're very thankful for and then being active in our community. Our big, hairy, audacious goal, just to let you in on some of our big picture vision, is 500 select homes locations by the year 2030 to have the highest income per real estate agent in the country, to have the highest income per real estate agent in the company. And we believe that we can uh, change that. I shared our core values. I shared our mission statement. I wanted to end with our vision. We're, you know... Um, we, we take our vision very serious. At Select Homes, we will create the most successful and influential real estate company in the world by focusing on teamwork, leadership, personal growth to achieve our goals. We believe owners, agents, and clients all deserve better than the status quo. We will create a team of teams across the nation and revolutionize the real estate industry by providing world-class service. And in doing so, we will create raving fans. We will create a brand that is known throughout our community for service, results, and innovation. Our customer-centric business will set a new higher standard of excellence in the real estate industry. With the success that naturally comes from these efforts, we are dedicated to giving back to our communities and improving the lives around us. That's Select Homes' vision statement. Powerful. <clears throat> I would challenge you guys. There's no transformation in your comfort zone. The magic happens outside of our comfort zones. Find and hire a mentor, someone. You know, if it's not us, find somebody um, nationally um, that, that, that can mentor you. Um, yeah, and it's like, well, why do I need a mentor to really explode your results? They're going to help you, you know, with being accountable, staying focused. Your know, motivation is something, you know, we need uh, daily like showers, as Zig Ziglar said. You need resources. You need to somebody to help bring perspective to you. You need somebody pushing you and challenging you like a trainer. You need a sounding board, somebody to bounce ideas off of. But more importantly, it gives you clarity. And once you have clarity, you're able to focus. And once you have a crystal clear focus, then you can execute. And once you have execution and you can do it at its highest level, no one can stop you. Find that mentor, guys, even if it's not us. We would love to help you out with all these things, okay? But if you want to have something you've never had before, then you got to do something you've never done before. I want to extend our offer for you to come visit our office. Come say hi. Come take a tour. You know, let's chat about your disc test. See what the results are. See what you would really enjoy, um, you know, doing within our team model. We really can help you explode and expand your business. Just take action. Come visit. Okay.
other than that, I want to thank you guys for your time, and I look forward to hopefully um, you guys coming by our office, no obligation uh, with the test or um, getting with Steve, Trent, or myself, um, and taking a tour of our call center, our transactions department, or heck, come sit in one of our passion power meetings, because the same exact way that I showed up today is the same exact way I show up every day and every week for our agents, and I look forward to being able to meet you. Thank you.